And the noise you hear are the locust. Sometimes you call them cicada. And they're really loud at night and in the morning. They're all around. So, I'm outside looking for what we sometimes call locust, but they're actually cicada and there's lots of different types of cicada. Um, and it just depends on where you live. And some of them burrow into the ground and stay there for 17 years and then they merge through a hole. It's kind of crazy. Um, some come annually and they're just always around. We always seem to have them here in the South in America. So you can hear them now. They're usually louder at night or in the morning. I'm trying to find one. I found a dead one in our pool, but my dog got it. So I didn't get to show you that one. So I'm looking for them now. My son said he saw one this morning. He went to grab it and it came alive and he was just laying there resting, I guess. So they're in the trees. There's not like a ton of them, I don't think. They're just really loud. And it's the male and he has something kind of in his body that vibrates and he's calling the females. Um, sounds like a lot of them. People started calling them locusts because when the settlers came to America in like the 1600s, they were familiar with locusts, which were like grasshoppers, and they would eat their crops. So they heard this noise and they thought they must be the locusts. Um, and they were coming to eat all their food and they didn't realize that it was just a few that make all this noise. So anyway, I'm gonna try to find one so I can show you. I'm hoping he'll be alive because it's really cool. Good morning. I found a cicada. He was sitting on, it was over by the gate and the dog was messing with it. Abby. Abby was trying to get the cicada. Yeah. So I took him so we can look at him. He's dead, unfortunately. He's locked. Oh my gosh, the cicada, is he upside down? No, he's right side up. Okay. Look at the cicada. Eddie found him on his Jeep. So, Eddie, touch him and see if he'll flicker for us. Come on, little he's, guy. He's, he's like... Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, you little cicada. Come on, little guy. Do it again. Oh my God. <laughs> he's like a firecracker. <laughs> you poor thing. You probably want to get off of the car. It's really hot. Oh, there's a cicada. <laughs> Yay, I found one. Okay, guy, you gonna fly away? Mm, we don't know how. We gotta pick him up. We gotta pick him up. He's good. <laughs> we finally found a cicada. Come on, wing it. See, you can see those little things are what moves when he wants to talk. So now that you have seen the cicada in action, we're gonna look at him a little closer. You can see his eyes. This is the one that I found that was dead. Beautiful wings. Underneath, he has little timbles that vibrate 20 to 30 times a second to make this noise that you hear. So, cicada starts out in a tiny larval stage when the eggs are laid. They, the eggs are laid on trees and then the larval stage it crawls down and burrows itself into the ground and then after uh, a period of time it develops and crawls out of a hole. So we have several of these holes in our yard. I'm pretty sure that's where they came from. Then they crawl up onto a tree and they attach themselves to the tree. And then they shed their exoskeleton. So this is an example of one that is caught up on the tree. And you can see the slit in the back. 
and out of that slit emerges the cicada that we see. So it's pretty interesting to me. As a kid, we would take these bugs and put them on our shirts and walk around with all these little bugs on our shirts because they stick really well, the little claws. So the cicada comes out of that shell and then they fly around and do their little insect thing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below if there's anything else you'd like to know about these interesting insects. Thank you. Bye-bye.